Well, I think that we have to give the, the industry some time to take hold. You know, it's been uh, two years, two and a half years, and uh, things are just starting to take root, frankly. And to get rid of it now would be, I think, a foolish mistake because you've invested all this money already. And uh, you really need to make sure that that money has a chance to pay out. I know full well, and I think Rick knows full well, that there's some very large investments that are coming into the state. Um, in fact, I know he's, he's sitting with a lot of the people that are uh, making those investments. So at this point in time, I think Michigan is clearly in the lead of, let's say, a startup industry for film. And I think it would be a mistake to take it out at this point. Myself, my personal history, I was involved in automotive. I was in, uh, at Ford Motor Company for 19 years. And uh, like many people in automotive, um, I left automotive. And automotive is a declining base for the state. And the good thing about uh, film is it has a pretty short apprenticeship, apprenticeship program. I mean, you can become pretty competent pretty quick. And, you know, it's not like um, alternative energy or something like this where it's five, seven years before you ever start to see a return on your investment. And you're already uh, starting to see some big things here in this state. The comments have been consistent for the last two and a half years, whether it was Rick saying it or Nancy Cassis or other members of the Treasury. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think that um, it hasn't really stifled things. You know, what's been allowed to happen is movies have come in and they're starting to uh, spend a lot of money in communities around the state. And, um, and there's some businesses that are actually Probably the biggest thing about the comments is what it stops is the real fundamental industry that needs to, to plant itself here, and which is investment and in infrastructure, Raleigh Studios, Unity, Unity and uh, Allen Park Center Studios, these kinds of investments which were just on the edge of happening. That's what the comments really rocks. When someone comes in with a truckload of cash and, and puts it into a community, whether it be in hotels or restaurants or uh, extras getting paid $75 a day, that money is recycling itself through the community, there's no question. And I think that, to be honest, over the last couple of years, it's really been one of the very, very few bright spots in the state of Michigan in terms of uh, the economy. So I think it'd be rather foolish to, to eliminate it. This, you know, efficiency is get it, get it up on the ground running as quickly as possible and produce. Film is quite good at doing that. You, Detroit and Michigan needs money, and there's no question that the cash that has been, you know, dumped into the state, I mean, some of the top-level hotels, the Cadillac, Weston, the Birmingham towns, and I mean, these, these films, these um, hotels are making out like bandits. And there's, there's other companies that are making out quite well. And what we need to do is to, to spread that out and have more indigenous infrastructure in the state so that uh, those jobs can become permanent and they're not transient. I would say, you know, leave the, the credit in place and make sure that we have a viable industry. We just got started and uh, things are going in the right direction.